And this top mid stack is looking very tasty for Vitality right now. The apartments pop could cause an issue to it, though. Nico trying to figure out what's happening. He spots two. Zywu, can he get those numbers up this time? Not on this occasion. Air strafing, working for G2. Going for the safer plant, was worried about a double stack, but he'll go for the Vino plant instead. Nico coming in from the back, and there goes Flames. P250 doing God's work for Nico. Drops another one, leaving Apex with not much to do. No Kevlar for him, no saving to be done. Try and do what he can. Heading towards the defuse kit and a smoke grenade. Might not get there, though. It's a nice one tap for Apex. Sees one on short. Knows one's lurking in mid, though. Utility to slow him down. He's got much work to be done. One more on the side. He's got a 1v1 if he can speed up. You can see Hooksy behind double stack. He's been found by Apex. He's got a smoke as well. He can go for it. It's a five second defuse. Nico, can he find the angle? There's so much smoke. And there's the headshot for Nico, stopping the robbery. That was a hell of an effort from Apex. But Nico will deny him ultimately. Two Mac 10s in tow for the squad. And the chain flashes will begin. It's a lot for these guys to do. Magisk will swat Hooksy. That's the information for the rest of the team. But Spinks will get the multi-frag. Two remain. They've got to get that bomb planted quickly. The rotation is on. Oh, Modesty's picked up a Mac 10 in all that chaos. As he does get the bomb planted on the site safely. He's going to stick with that Deeg instead as he mollies into long. No kit right now for Vitality. Worth considering. They are starting to get a move on into top mid. You've still got Nico, who might be the man set up with that AK. Oh. Zywoo down to 14. Big oh. shots from Manasi, leaving Flames as the last one. Trying to get that trade frag is Nico. He gets both kills. That's a big one for G2. What an awkward situation for them as well. Mac 10 or the Deagle delivering regardless. Apex already animated. Not going to overcommit to this engagement. But what is the play they make? They're immediately going towards the B bomb site. Are they reading a three setup, three man setup here for Vitality? They're looking to abuse a numbers game. If they can, Flames has a smoke though, running low, but that's a great switch for him too so far. He can try and buy time in this smoke, dealt with by Hunter, but we've got the rotation now for Vitality. Two for both bomb sites. JKS holding rotation. Magisk will be stuck on the roof. They know he was there earlier on. Is JKS convinced that he's still there now? Lurking in the apartment, G2 come back towards the A-bomb site. 3v2 situation, Hunter's dropped though. It's a late attempt from Manasi, he's denied as well. JKS instantly traded, and Vitality are on the board. That's more like it. Maybe not any further than this. Top mid has been taken in the meantime. Magisk is the man who's tasked with that. The timing's good. <gasps> Meanwhile, JKS swings onto Zywu, and now Magisk trapped between two players. G2 explode onto the A-bomb site. Where did that shot go from Zywu? I don't know if he was strafing when he fired that. We heard it fire. I think Zywu would be near the top of my players that it would be hard to tilt, to be fair. He just has this like childlike, almost like naivety, where he just shows up and plays Counter-Strike. It doesn't even feel like it's hard for him. Ooh, these kills at the end. Not bad for Vitality. Apex will fall, though. Monacy. Oh, oh! That is filthy. Have you no mercy? That's a royal wave. He did. Have you no mercy whatsoever? Dry peaks from G2. Apex holding a very tight angle. Both teams. Trying to outmaneuver each other, staying alive now. And there's flames to trade. There's the bomb. HE's flying through. Now the CTs can slightly reposition. Smokes up and flames can disappear. Two remaining. They need to do damage at least. JKS Ooh. through with a flash. One more and CT JKS. Okay then. 1v3 for Manasi. He knows one's on the site. Got two thirds of the information, Manasi. Zywu is still on the A bomb site for the time being. They can't see the bomb, I presume. Oh, he spots the elbow. Not given enough, though. 27 seconds. He's found his 1v1. Manasi! Zywu closing the distance. 20 seconds. Coming up banana. But Manasi has no idea where he is. He's got two shots in the magazine. And 16 seconds to figure it out. Zywu keeps going, though. Passing that car position. He's got all the sound cues in the world. The Molotov is there. He's got the fountain through the molly. Goes Zywu holding the angle. Has he been heard? I don't think so. Just about making it. Monacy making a very scary round. It's, it's an expensive one. Monacy and that B site of Inferno that makes every round seem winnable. 
Flames didn't feel comfortable sitting behind that pillar, but that jump peak for Info from Monacy was beautiful to be able to land that first shot. Then he readjusts into CT. Back to long. Saibu is moving back to the bomb site. Magisk will get to at the very least. There's the bomb spotted. We'll deliver the third one. This is where the comeback begins for Vitality. But there's more to do. Nico is waiting in that smoke. Magisk falling off. They can limit the risk now as Monacy stands top mid, gets deleted. And Nico's got 45 Ooh. seconds, won't last long. Everyone standing for Vitality. G2's money is broken. Now they can start to take control. Coordination has looked solid. Apex has come in with some flash assists, which is definitely one of his strengths. This time they're going to go for the banana, taking its entirety. And again, that flash comes in. Flame somehow gets a second. Finally, Hunter trades, but Apex swings wide. And now that B bomb site is wide open. Another multi frag from Flames. This time, not enough. Overwhelming odds with the T's. They just keep coming on the conveyor belt, taking the bomb site. Three on three retake. There are eight cheese, however. Hunter Ooh. better run for his life. Wow. Dodges the first one. Magisk will be on the way with another one. Smokes for the CT. Is that going to pull? Is it going to pull? Goodbye, Hunter. 2v3. Still a dangerous run for Vitality. Good angle for JKS. Got to look away from the flash, though. And there comes Zywu to get the info for his team at the very least. But where's that last man? They've got a kit, but can they find Hooksy? Hiding in plain sight. As he peak eventually starts to look up, can he find the angles? Binks looks the wrong way. Hooksy is out there and very vocal indeed. Another way from the G2 side. Continuing to pursue though, Flames drops to Manasi and they have zero position on this B bomb site. In they go. Hard read from G2. They'll flow into the bomb site. Nothing to be done for Apex. No mollies, no hey cheese for the CT side. And oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Wasn't expecting that angle to be held. Not often you see that happen, but here we are. Vitality. It's a shame because they can't afford to lose many more. That's such a nice peek from Monacy. Yeah, really well done. But then he gets the second one for free. Very nice indeed, <laughs> Nico. Please, at the end of the round. Magisk and Apex on Banana as Flames finds himself on long now. Wow. And he delivers <laughs> once again. Change of position then at the very, very late on. I wonder if it is based on that previous round. Either way, shows promise so far. There's jump peeking from bottom of Banana. Does Nico understand the threats that might be closer? Oh, apparently not. Magus able to get the trade, and there's Zaiwu finally getting involved. Monacy and Hunter will look to find a way back, but Hunter falls. And Monacy needs something crazy to have a chance here. That will settle it. Five rounds at the half for Vitality. Still not great for them. G2 out in front by some distance, but maybe still doable for Vitality. We'll find out if they can come back into this one. Monacy's heard many pair of legs in that long position. Doing something about it, though, is a different scenario. Apex. Oh, boy. We'll hit all this rotation. And have a look at They're where the T's back. are going. Zaitu get, Zaiwu gets a big one top mid. And they are just getting outmaneuvered. Apex oh, is basically mate. trolling without doing anything. He knows one is in mid. Does he reveal his position, though? The Stampede is on the way. He's good enough of that. Going for the 180. That's just great work from Vitality. Just having a listening device in the mid position and getting the bomb site relatively uncontested. Three on four as G2 wonder where Vitality could be. There's so many positions they could be holding right now. They've got a bait set up. Oh, JKS with a great one on the bike, but all they expect magic, especially with a teammate under the balcony. JKS dealing with it. Hooks, he's got a kit. He's got a smoke grenade as well. JKS looking for the ace in the meantime, looking so fast in every direction. One more to go for JKS. He's the last man standing. He might not get the defuse at this point. Flames griefing in the pit under the balcony. Three kills for him in the round. Vitality take the pistol. That was a nervous one towards the end. JKS charging through. He's got some multi frags already. But it's no distraction to be run by anyone else. Wow. Zywoo will punish him. That's the round over, as is common on Inferno. They just don't have the position. There's nothing else to be done. That is quite the nerd angle from Magisk, though. 
trying to make the round more oppressive will certainly do that. Losing that third man does make a significant difference to your options when you begin the next one. I think we might see a timeout coming soon from G2. This has not started well for them. That opening move failed. <laughs> Bloody hell, Nico. Always a pleasure, Nico. Still goes down, though. No AK save. That's a shame. Because that could have been... <laughs> yep. See if Flames decides to try and spam that boost or not. You can spam through the wall, but he just dry peeks. Monacy not ready for that from Boiler. That's a brilliant shot against the Orpa. JKS will try his luck on the hole, but Flames finds him. Explosive round from Flames, who runs up through short. He's trying to help Spix onto the site, and Flames is still going. One more man, Flames, with a quad kill entry onto A. What the hell is that? How can you not love this man on Vitality? Honestly, a solid addition to the Vitality squad. 21 for 11 is Flames. Such an aggressive player, so fast as well, so twitchy. Apex spots, and I don't think he's going to be peeking again. Just baiting, but Magis grabs it. Dude, can you see? You can see the blood pumping through his face. I feel like Zonic in the back was like, hey, yo, chill, man, chill. I love it. This is what competition is all about. We saw it on Cadian's face when Heroic were playing. You can see it on Apex as well. This means something to these players. Honestly, his blood is pulsating through his face. Look, he's just got to take a breath and just reset. That is crazy from Flames. Oh, they I love just, it. The fights just kept coming, just one by one. I didn't expect the duels to continue. He'll be denied on this occasion. Manasi with the hero AWP. Man, I'm still thinking about Hooksy. We'll take that last smoke grenade towards that B-bomb site. So it'll be the numbers game for G2. JKS's angle will be so important. That's fantastic as well. He's always a problem from that position. Running the distraction and looking for him. Nico and Manasi deliver. And just like that, the floor is wiped. And Vitality go missing. How do you respond? Manasi holding long. He's in the arch position. Lost his position for the time being. The smoke is here as well. Flames pulling it out a second will give some extra steps to the CT side. Minus be able to get to library in time. But the numbers game is here for in that short position. The smoke makes it awkward for Vitality. Six rounds in a row. They've got plenty of money, but it's being drained fast by G2. They're coming for Spinks! What? The knife! Manasi, outrageous behavior from him. Ten survive for G2 in these last two rounds together. Style points for Manasi. The hubris is fantastic. The back and forth in and out of the server is awesome that we're seeing right now. I feel like it's plays like that that sometimes have earned Monacy the simple comparison. Because that's the sort of thing Simple used to do. Just go for the knife. Why the hell not? Come to talk to you about your car insurance and takes a kidney in the process. Frustrations are back for Apex, but they've got the money. This is going to be explosive, but who comes out on top? They're boosting. Hooksy disappearing again, it seems. Nico delivering the first one, and there will be no trade. Can he get to the bomb site in time? He's got the AK out, collects two, the hunger buster for Hooksy. But the job's not done just yet. Spinks making his way through. CT has been smoked, and Hunter will be elevate. Patience paying off. Bond is dropped. Flames in a one versus three. Make it two. Hunter dropped through the smoke. Trying to create space with the Molly. Going behind it as well. Punishing Hooksy for going ahead. Great read from Flames. Planting by the fountain now, but keeping an eye. He's given a chance for JKS. And he'll deliver that headshot with time dying in the round. They inch past this time, G2, but they keep going. Three in a row now. They may commit anyway. Without the CT smoke, they're still searching for this fight. They figured that Hooksy was alone on Banana prior, but Nico gets the timing right. Still Zaiwu ready to trade. And it's Monacy now whose turn it is to rotate over, but the smoke of Sphinx is arriving. He's not going to be able to do anything here on towards the B-bomb site. 20 seconds. No one stopping this plant from happening. G2 making their way towards B, it looks like. They've got some cash, they've got some kits, and they've got Manasi with an AWP. Sphinx gives up the 1v1 to the AWP. 3v2 then. Apex made a stop, a step. 
Hunter's heard him. They've got half the info. They know someone's banana. Oh, this is collapsing for Vitality in the worst way. 1v3, Zaiwu coming through. He is so blind and deleted. They've got the kits and they've got the round as well. You have to wonder about that peak into CT with Monacy rattling off orb shots. And they've been finding it in the previous round. Didn't quite go according to plan, and all oh, the burst through, dealt with by Hunter. No support, but the nade so close to finishing Magus off entirely. Oh my days. And Nico's still got that banana control. They see that's clear. They should be ready on this A side of the map. Hooksy's off immediately. He's got a smoke as well. See if it's a way for him to use it. No one on long forward of time being, but he'll get there relatively unchallenged. Monacy knows there's problems on short. There's a crossfire of sorts for the CTs. Great flick onto Flames. JKS is in the pit as well. Hooksy coming in to run distraction. And all the frags are going away at G2. They cannot be stopped on the A bomb site. And they'll find game points. Great round there from G2. Seen more than one round in this game where the second CT has been dropped on Banana as well. There are still two more here on this occasion. Hunter dropping. Manasi's got nades. Will they be pushing through the smoke? Who's he eating the flashbangs? And he's going to eat some lead as well. Down he goes. Manasi and JKS remain 2v4. Manasi could still fall back if there are smokes up. JKS on the A bomb site. They're going to give up on this one. Hooksy Hunter and Nico have got money, which is less than great being polite about it. Had this similar setup from G2 earlier, where Monacy and Nico only got one kill between them when they were both facing Banana. Playing a little further back now, but Nico wants to go in. Takes one in the face immediately. Monacy able to trade. Can he get around the corner in time? He can, but Hoosie gets deleted. That's an awkward peek for Monacy. Very, very awkward indeed. There's no reasonable way for him to try and get a kill there. And they will push him. Hunter is here, though, to help him if he can. But all he can do really is spray and surely Manasi's done for. He'll fall to the flames, but not before he drops Zyru. He's kept it close. Hunter's committed to this bomb site. Oh, they're rotating. JKS. But have a look at JKS's position. He's going to get all the sound cues. He could even find two. Does he swing on these players? The bomb's on the way. They're checking. Apex Ooh. will deliver. Nothing is taken for granted. They've got the time to check, and they'll do so. That is a big moment for Vitality. They almost lined up there. But Vitality don't overlook the possibility. Is there any way Hunter thinks about this? No, not now. What a shot from Spinks on the turnaround. Vitality take it to 13. And now G2's money is in an awkward position. Nico will tuck back for the time being. Meanwhile, these two players in apartments, are they really going to go for fights here? They're going out into the open. Two players back turn. Vitality with two entries onto A. They're starting to believe. Four versus three. No flashes remain for G2. Two kits for G2. Found some util smoke to create some space to find a way forward. Oh, there's just no way in. You're stuck behind smokes. This has got overtime written all over it. Hooksy 1v4 then. We'll need the round of his entire life to find a way out of this one. Not finishing off flames and we are headed to overtime. A very stressful game, especially for Vitality, but they have forced their way back into it. Top mid taken by Vitality. They'll feel some urgency to make something happen out of this. Apex sees the elbow in pre fives, but minus he's got position as well. Four on three for G2. They'll send Nico into CT spawn. A little back and forth, but he'll be heading to bolster the defenses on this A bomb site. Hooks he left alone towards B. We'll have to be very oh. careful. No one's there though. Minus he dropped. There's a chance for Spinks moving deep into that short spot. JKS with the elf angle, Nico with a crossfire, depending on who pushes first. By the double stack, 3-5 from JKS. Very successful, fruitful, in fact. He's only got 9 HP now, trying to stay alive. But Zaibu's on the way with a HE grenade that doesn't Ooh. quite hit the spot. Bomb planted while JKS is still in the pit, continuing to show presence. Nice nade from him. Down to a 2-1-2, two -two. a flash for Hooksy to swing, maybe. Making his way forward, but Magisk is ready for it.
now becomes even more difficult. First round goes the way of Vitality, and Apex is very happy with that. Hard four, four rounds, and they're in the lead. Thinks about something through the smoke, can't find it. Do they boost him up? Zaiwu was holding. Monacy jumps up to his death, to his doom. He didn't realize Zaiwu was so close. And oh, Hooksy needs it. to stay alive now. That might help. There's footsteps heard. Plenty of them. Hooksy's in trouble now. Molly in front of the smoke. He begs them not to push. Nico on the way. He's got no support flashes though. Flames on the oh. barrels. Up he goes and down goes Hooksy. JKS soon behind as well. Sphinx punishes him on the A bomb site. The trades continue towards B. 4v1 for Vitality, Molly for Nico. So much action in this game. Someone like Magisk has got $11,000. He has no reason to leave the bomb site. Oh, Nico starting to move, but Apex is ready for him. Two for two for Vitality. Nico back on Banana this time. Oh, the lineup's perfect, and he gets back safely. Almost gave Zaiwu a haircut. Magis is here to trade, but so is Hooksy. That's important position. Numbers game is even now. Three on three. Also for Manatee, but he's got great support from JKS. Everyone trying to make plays based on what is happening. Fast moving game. Vitality, two remaining. Heading towards B. Hooksy is here. He's got the info and util. He can hold position at the very least. JKS on the way now. Hooksy will drop them. He'll fall to the flame. Zyber in the clutch then. One versus two. Big nades continue down to 14 HP. But he's alive. He's standing. And that's always going to be a problem. One versus two for Zyber. Trying to solve this puzzle. Manasi and JKS slowly moving forward. Is he on the site? Or is he at Coffins? Is he in the pool? few places Zywoo could be. Clock is ticking. Only JKS has a kit. He's the man who has to defuse the bomb with Monacy covering with the AWP. It has to be that way. Heading towards the site now in the smoke. Easy 1v1 for Zywoo. Maybe Monacy could pick up the slack, but he hasn't found a kit. Looking for it in the smoke. He'll find it, but it's too late to get around. Three in a row for Vitality. The Apex war chant after the round win. They took so long to get towards that bomb. Zaiwu, ever patient, never overextends, never gives away the information too early. Three chances at robbery and Flames is back to his shenanigans on the CT side. Where he's got one, he's often got two. Nico's angry though, and that's a problem if you're Vitality. Moving through with the AK-47, trying to avoid the flash. Eats a big one though, that'll delay for a time, but maybe not enough time. Sphinx is rotating, he's got no util though, and Flames will be deleted by Nico. It's forcing G2's way back into these rounds. Some stats padding there for Nico with that last kill. First two entries though, oh so important for him. First test is passed. They've been in higher pressure situations before. Just another day in the office for G2. Yeah, this is a completely reactive setup for Vitality. They won't be seeking any information, just responding to the plays from G2. So I was rotating over though. Going back to the V-Bomb side, actually. A drive peak for Sphinx. What in the blazes is that? Spots the bomb in long. 27 seconds. No info towards Banana. They don't know if it's a wrap or not, but Magisk is maybe figuring it out. This is game point for Vitality. And there's 20 seconds. Nico is stuck on long. And that rotation is coming through. Tag onto Magisk. Down he goes. But a bomb's been lost on long. No That's going to be the round. Manasi, one versus two, has got to find these kills. Can he find the bomb in the smoke? He's going for the kill, so he's so close. 1v1, Flames is out of there, and Vitality will take the first map. <laughs> Creeping through mid then, are many of these T's. Hooksy with a quick flash, a great jiggle, and maybe a second kill here. Sphinx manages to bounce enough, though. Flames and JKS have got so much work to do. For their respective teams, JKS will be traded, though. Vitality, two on three. Magic staying alive. He's in the red, though. 15 HP. Zyro just locks onto Manasi with the duelies. 1v2. 
Hooksy peeking, but where is Nico? Still focused on Hooksy for the time being. Not shy, not afraid. Delivers the headshot. Doesn't matter who's in front of him. Glass broken for grenade execution. Very aggressive from Zaiwu. No warp to challenge him. Now does he draw rotation? Drops Nico as well. G2 frozen on the uh, mid and B area. JKS will need another multi-frag. He said, by time, he to stay alive. They're lining up perfectly for him. Has he done enough damage? JPEX trying to fall back with the bomb. They've lost the bomb after those entries from Zywu. It's all gone wrong. Oh boy. Hooksy and Hunter both sat on the bomb like it's their nest egg. They want to defend this. Still so much time for Vitality. Head spotted, but Hunter has the AK too. And now Spinks is going to have a really hard time finding good fights here. These angles below are really awkward to deal with. He's got the first. No trade from Hooksy. Spinks playing a dangerous game on the edge, but Hooksy repositions. And G2 off to a storming start. JKS's position is so important. I guess the upside is AKs and Deeks, maybe some headshots. Yeah, without the smokes, maybe a better chance at an Ooh. actual round win. Speaking of headshots, five on three all of a sudden. Magisk will get dropped, but he's got some information. There's the incendiary as well. Won't compromise the bomb plant, but it will compromise Sphinx's position. Down to 28 HP, but still four on three. Nico, so awkward for him, but Huxi is here to help. Spotting one by the sandbags then. Three on three, Zywu's got the AK in his hands. Two or three players with Kevlar for Vitality. All good for G2, smoke is up, but how do they find these kills? They're not winning this round without it. Apex on the side, but not being defused just yet. Apex spamming now, into the smoke he goes. Swiping with the knife, can he find the angles? Look at the variance, this is chaos. JKS on the bomb once again, and Zywu gets the last one. Vitality are on the board. Find a way to make the round competitive. That was such a committed position from Hunter. Monacy unable to help out. And Zaiwu dancing around the bomb site on so many different positions to seal the deal on the round win. You absolutely want to spread the bomb site with the carpets of flame in a round such as this. Monacy dropped Hunter now with the tuxedo. Good timing for him. Squeeze the second one and made it doable. Nico 1v2 of a deagle. I'm excited. I bet you are as well. Whew. Hunter is just so clinical with that CZ with those headshots. It's a shame for Nico that these players aren't low. It's going to have to be the headshots. But Magus steps out into the open. Maybe a bit of a risk taken there, but he wins the fight. Unsurprisingly, often close between these two squads. Not always, though. Big flash Ooh. from Nico, but he eats it. A second one. He needs to retreat now. Manatee will fall back as well. The molly won't come fast enough as the airstrike is here once again. Hunter drops also. Nico's got a lot to do. Sees absolutely nothing. Position compromised. Still standing for now. Bombs on the way. Two players in the red. He could even these numbers up quickly. Apex dropped. Gave the bomb to his teammate though. Hasn't been seen by Nico just yet. Oh, Tried to no. create some space for himself, but made wild assumptions towards the short side, and Zyber will punish him for his insolence. Yeah, you could see in the way that Nico was playing that, he had no idea. But Vitality looking at the better team right now. Into the lead for the first time in this map, as Vitality win four in a row. Who gets the entry for Vitality? Who is going to be the can opener for this round if they want to continue their success? Again, a pop flash. G2 very concerned of this mid position as Hunter looks to fall back to the site once again. Spots the bomb, drops flames. Then there were three. JKS off angles on the B bomb site. JKS is often asked to do a lot for G2, and this might be another situation. He's got some teammates in Toto, Manasi. And Hooksy's here as well. The hold is good for G2. Surviving with four is exactly what they needed. That's a nice round from G2. I like that little double stack in mid. That's a good measure for the CT side. Minus C with the AWP can go back to the wall for a second one, but now Zybu's got the angle. And off he goes. Ooh. Still, only three players remain for Vitality, and that's going to be a problem. Very hard to get active with just three players coming to life now as Vitality have a play to make. Chance for a 2-0 over G2 and a place in the semi-finals. 
Saiwu, W key all the way up the stairs. Trying to catch a CT's off guard. He's got his teammate posted up as well. Magic's got the bomb site so early. Minute 40, and they're breaking ground on B, but JKS is often delivering in these situations for G2. Buying time for his teammates to rotate, delivering those frags, keeping the five on four. Staying alive behind that smoke, a little jiggle and he's still standing. Hunter has been lost in the meantime, but JKS will still protect this bomb site, forcing Vitality back and doing better than that. Do they still expect JKS close? They have mollies. Smoke goes down, there's a little gap on the side. JKS didn't spot them, but he goes into the smoke. Oh, the drop down goes against him. And now Hooks, he has to deliver. Spray through, he's running low. Flames finds him. And now Nico still already on the site. They're not going to expect him, but he can't get the kill for free. Backs the nade, still no frag. Finally, Nico delivers. And his teammates here alongside him. All tied up, thanks to Nico and Monacy. A pretty standard setup. Three towards A initially. That Molly is going to be extinguished. Meanwhile, Nico has won a fight elsewhere. He actually dropped the bomb there. So they're moving into B right now. Apex finds one. Apex finds a second. They don't have the bomb with them, but they're still fighting on this B bomb site. Pre firing that smoke for days. A steel girder allowing Apex to escape. Moving through now with the T smoke. Playing anti flash. Oh, he's doing more than that. Just walk straight through it. They don't have the angle. Great spatial awareness, presence of mind, daring and cunning from Apex to give them a three on two. But they're all tagged and the bomb's still not planted just yet. Now crossing towards the bomb site. G2 not giving up on this one. And maybe it's time to think about it. What? Never mind. Apex has got the angles and the ace. All the frags for Apex. He's letting them know. He's letting them know about it. From Vitality. That smoke on the right side of Jen. You see here, these two fights able to be isolated. JKS stuck in the smoke. Apex takes that risk through, then spots the aggression of Nico. And the final one is just pure instinct. Gets the right lineup and Apex saying, I'm the man. Two CTs on B already. Hunter close by. This boost will be spotted. Gun Barrel might have been spotted through the wood there and JKS makes it a second. That flash helping him out. G2 looking much better on the B-hold this time. He's so good on B, JKS. He has plenty of help as well. Going back to the well one more time for a third kill. And Zaiwu doesn't have a lot to do at this point. 25 seconds in a 1v5. Again, JKS has been so important for the rounds G2 do have on that B-bomb site. It's been tested time and time again. There will be no warp save for Zaiwu. 3,800 for him as we head towards the last round of the first half. And that money's going to be a bit dicey for Vitality. Let's see if this is the switch up Vitality need. They still have three AKs and Monacy has to deliver close quarters. He doesn't connect and that means Zaiwu runs him down. Barbecue trade. And Hunter will take a forward angle. It could be pitched here. Zywood through the smoke, though. Great timing for Hunter. Switches up for the AWP. Help is on the way. Nico gets deleted, though. But Hooksy's still here. Three on three. Sphinx has a flash. Flames has the talent. Standing oh. on the side. The nice fit is out. He's on that bomb. This is a risky play, though. This is a very risky play, indeed. Swiping. <laughs> Surely that's been heard. The flashes are here. Flames still standing for now. An interesting approach to that last round, but it looks like G2 will squeeze an eighth at half time. A lot of defenses required on that B bomb site, all to play for in the second half. Which would be a very strong position indeed, especially with the skill that both teams carry into the server. Super Mario Brothers in towards B. Manasi will be back to the start screen. Four players remain as they are sending it in. Full commitment from G2, but they're getting deleted. Flames and Zaiwu now with the frags. Nico and Hunter fighting back. Nico and Hooksy remain versus three. Now it's down to Nico. 1v3, 1 minute 30, and there's only three men standing on the bomb site. Oh, and the flank from Magisk is all they need. They buy enough time for him to come in from behind. The round win in their favor. Still a buy on the G2 side. They'll force up an Apex. Oh, Whoa. run over. Skinned like a squirrel on a street market skewer. Apex is out of here. Talk about a drive-by. 
and it continues. Nico with the Galil. The grenades are here, and that will be some revenge. But can they hold on to this round vitality? G2 just reset with that man advantage. Do we see any CT aggression? Magus getting baited into so many T side players. Sphinx has to hold, but Monacy, it's a fantastic shot through the edge of the box. And Flames only has an MP9 in a one on three. He might not even go for this one. Overperformance compared to his normal numbers. Oh, Hooksy Jesus. Oh, it's just a shame though that Apex is like so caught off guard by that. I mean, I know it was quick. 3B, I wonder if they're trying a little bait and switch with Apex and Sphinx here. Smoke has gone up. Sphinx is now sticking around. He will be cleared. Oh, the MAC-10 in behind Hooksy, shredding them. And this looks good for G2. It's bullets flying all over the shop. Where do you stand? Doesn't matter when G2 come like that. He is feeling himself. But a man advantage for Vitality in a round they can absolutely compete in. Flash in for Spinks, another kill found on that AK. And all of a sudden, G2 have got some issues in this round. It's a very good start. Does he chase more though? There's still only two rifles in the hands of these CTs. He's got such a good angle though. But no one's in a position to trade just yet. Down to a three on three now. Rifle protected by Hanzo. Silently elevates, flames dropped, and he may have done his job. zaiwu has got a deagle, but not for long. One versus two now. Very interesting round. Where is Magisk? He was tagged earlier on, but he's closing the distance. And when that bomb gets planted, only one player will be in position to defend. Might not even get that far he's, as he's closing in on this bomb site. Now, oh, JK is wondering about the stairs. Nico wondering about this smoke. Magisk trying to position. There are the beeps. He knows he's got a 1v1 creeping now. Careful about the shadows. Sees the bag. Where is Nico? Oh, 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 that was such a close one. But Nico survives. Third round. Third frag in the round, rather. And they're going to re aggress on ramp at the same time. They've got that smoke up. I think it's just going to play behind the sandbags. Nico spotted this man falling back. Is he too focused on that one man? Doesn't matter. Spix hits the headshot. Apex chimes in. But B is the end goal for G2. Flames holding down two jobs. Retake situation then, as far as that B-bomb site's concerned. They may be comfortable with the numbers, the incendiary to delay, but he's getting tagged flames. And he's lost Zyru. Difficult angle. Monacy doesn't miss often. Oh, he's missed again though. He just moves before firing the shot. Can't have too many of those. Delivers a headshot now, two on three, but the bomb needs to get planted. 15 seconds and Monacy's the one who's got to plant it. Moves to the side, gets domed. Apex in a 1v1. Where's JKS? He doesn't know. 10 seconds, he's got to run, he's got to race. Does he go for the plant? Does he go for the headshots? Apex spots him on the site. Creeps around the smoke now. He's got a good angle, Apex. JKS makes it to the double stack. 1v1. Just holding, but JKS with a massive headshot. Keeps the train moving forward. Just throwing the jiggles in there. It's those little micro movement plays, micro adjustments that make CS such a great game because you can just outplay your opponent individually like that. And G2 have the individuals for the job. Needs to be a little careful here, away from the rest of the squad. This is an awkward angle to deal with. He's not ready for it. And now G2 might feel like they have to commit into the B-bomb site. Flames of the fan match has a lot to do. There'll be a lot of spray coming his way with these positions behind the smoke. Very again. usual. And indeed, Hooksy will be the man to entertain. He's got the cocktail sausages out. In the meantime, the good food is on the A-bomb site. That's where G2 were looking to be, but they're going back Whoa. and forth. They've caught Spink Spinks completely out of position. That might buy time for the rotation. That's a huge frag from Flames. G2 continue. They have to. 15 seconds. No more dilly-dallying. How on earth did they get this bomb planted? Flames has done the job. Look at the spread, the explosion on the bomb site from Vitality. JKS has nothing left to do on this occasion. Three will stand for Vitality. Huge for them as well, because they don't have any money in the bank. Monacy creeping again. Oh, Got to be careful though. Oh, and that's a nice shot onto Zywu. Delivering the impact frag. And now the numbers game comes. Is it even required? Monacy with the big green sniper delivering monstrous frags. Vitality crippled in this round. No way to respond to those entries. Hunter slowly, quietly rising on the kill count. <laughs> Up at 21. No matter what your home language, nice is always the scream. Oh, 
Ooh, so sorry. tight from Manasi. Missed a movement on the server. The Death thought they had very little chance on this map. Well, G2 showing us what they're capable of. The flash is back and forth. It's Flames who comes away with two kills. So man advantage vitality. Flames will tuck back onto the bomb site. His AWP is on the A side of the map right now, and Manasi's going to have a hard time rounding the corner. Nico not able to get on towards the flanking position in time. This looks very good for Vitality now. Waves the flash, Saiwu. Nico dealt with by Magisk. Hooksy then, one versus four, 52 seconds. He's carrying the bomb also. Some utility to isolate some fights if he can. He's got a chance at a second one here. 1v4 made two. He's got 40 seconds. He could cut noise if he wanted to. He could cut noise and wait. Creeping ever closer. Damage is still worth something. Rounds the corner. Spots two. Tenth round for Vitality. That's him, folks. They know there's a player sandbags. Oh, oh, oh. So close. Nico. Very hard to deal with. JKS is here as well. Bomb will be collected by G2. Four on three for them. Saiwu has to deliver. But now so many people coming his way. Through the smoke. Hunter topping the leaderboard now. Wolf frag. Flames and Sphinx remain. Last round for them to lose. There is an incendiary for Sphinx in a 2v4. They both have kits, but they need a quite a few frags. Molly to the sandbags. Looking from up top. G2 disengaging. Oh, that's a tight one, though. Manasi is down. Bomb is ticking. And now it's down to Sphinx. One versus three. G2 angry after losing their first map. Are forcing their way to a deciding map of Mirage in style. A great performance on Vertigo. A standout from JKS and great work from Hooksy as well. G2 with a monstrous game of Vertigo. And they demand Mirage to come. Hunter looks like the first man in right now. He's got a flash for himself. He'll try and get this initial control, but this could still be a ruse right here. You see G2 also moving back into mid. Monacy gets it boosted up for the opener. Apex able to get one back. It's into a three on three, and Hunter's still selling this fake. Or is it a fake? The bomb could still come back here because Monacy's on the flank. Spinks finally dropped, and Monacy brings it into a 2v2, and Hooksy will finally bring that bomb to B. Not done just yet, though. CTs have got the range. Spot the info, but Minus C will deliver the headshot, leaving Magic. It's going to one versus two. It's a rough idea of where these players are posturing for a double peek as he makes his way silently through that door. Waiting for a peek now. It will be a double peek. Gets the 1v1 down to Manasi to try and stop him, but he can't. A 3k for Magic. The patience, the positions, the 1v1s, the headshots, and the pistol round. Starting off with, and maybe go for plays elsewhere. They boost Monacy up, but then they start to lose players on A. So they bring the bomb back to B. And Monacy had done so much up until that point, but the final fight wasn't clean. So he's going to have a lot to do. There are surely flashes coming his way. A dry pick from Monacy. He missed the shot. We saw the, the muzzle flash there. But where's the frag? Nico's got into that ladder room position. Spinks is aware of the possibility in connector. And Magus on this annoying, aggressive angle. He's not even tucked into the corner. He's slightly wider. Hard to pre-aim this position. Hooksy is able to trade with the AWP, but G2 are going to struggle to salvage this round now. Yeah, he's got to sell something for Nico to play against, making his way through silently. Apex has such a good angle, though. Is there anything left in this round for G2? Nico knows the angle that could be held, but Hoopsie can't deliver in time. That will be the round over then as Zywu gets the last frag. A shot over towards B and G2 abandon the mission entirely. In control for the time being. Big flash. Oh, Manasi, he's so blind, but Crosshair's in the right place. And Nico makes his way through connector chances. Someone's got to go back and pick up the bomb. But in the meantime, they can try to hold position, but maybe things might change. Now there's only three of them, and the bomb hasn't been rescued just yet. They'll focus on the frags for now. JKS dropping Flamesy. Sphinx, one of two orbs remaining, as Zaiwu loses his angles. 
God, Monacy completely blind, getting that frag on the ramp is so important. And Nico playing off of that, going through the smoke as well. Two very, very key situations for G2 in order to get their first round on the board here on Mirage. Gotta say, James, you asked for more AWP action. Well, the AWPers are both getting involved early, even if Monacy's had the AK a couple of times. I'm glad you asked for it, because it seems like... G2 have positions for the split, but there are frags needed at both choke points. Because the Apex trying to support his teammate has lost his angle entirely. Manasi has been dropped in the meantime, but Hooksy hasn't seen him. Hunter down as well. Two remain for Vitality. JKS needs another frag from Palace, as he did last round. He'll deliver this time. Down to one HP, though. He's got that Florida man pistol and support on the way. Magisk is here with the M4 also. 10 seconds and fake plus coming in from Nico. Zyru oh, going God. fishing. Speaks to the last one. Vitality on winning ways once more. 5 to 1. Resetting G2 immediately. No bomb plant for the T side either. It's just been tough for G2 because, uh, like in this round, having mid control is normally such a staple for teams on their T side. You can see here the sneak into connector. Hunter has found the timing. Trades continue, a couple of Vitality players tagged, and Hunter all the way into jungle. So G2 have got some good positions here. Always an important spot. Can help the bomb cross to default, however. Magisk might be a problem. Oh, so many bullets towards Hunter, but he still stands. That is a very strong frag, especially with that clock ticking. Spink starts to wonder now, does he hold the ramp? Or does he hold the T's coming his direction? Oh, the timing oh. is perfect for him. How does this bomb get planted then? We've got flames creeping by connector, spotted by Manasi, and that might be the key. 18 seconds on the clock. Hooksy out there looking to plant that bomb. Zywu delivering, and now Hooksy will be in a clutch. Doesn't stand for long though. Takes one step, and then Zywu shuts him down. 14 for two. There's no flash to be offered for JKS. He spots the barrel of flames. It's gone, though, and he'll drop Magisk as well. Exactly what they needed. Hooksy coming through. That'll certainly break this round for G2. Compromised by the barrel of the gun. Never stood a chance. This is what makes them so annoying to play against. They're never running the same round. And Nico has to be careful here. He's watching underpass. They're going to peek him from above. Oh, what a Ooh. flick from Nico! So solid is Nico. Yes, he got traded, but it's a minute 30 on the clock for G2. The urgency is rising now. They know there's opportunity, there's weakness, and they can smell it. Gravitating towards this bomb site. Here comes a three man swing lining up, but the violence is here. The trades are here for G2. And now they have all the position they need on B. And Hooksy could make it even worse. He's coming in for the flank. Presence shown in the shot by Vitality. But this net is closing on them. Apex moving in from short, though. As the bomb is not even planted just yet. Manasi's dropping and everything changes now. Hooksy coming in from the back. 2 on 2, though. Saibu so back at the site. You know his mind is moving very quickly indeed. He's in a best position. The flank is denied. The flank on the flank is deleted. And that leaves Zaiwu in the clutch. 40 seconds. Spots Hunter. But where is Hooksy coming from? He's hopped towards a short position. But Saibu's got no idea. You know he processes these things very quickly indeed. By that pillar heading towards default. No way. Zaiwu by the bench once again. And Hooksy could really ruin this one. He finds his first fra third frag in the round. Big round for G2. And he's happy with that one. Hooksy. Nico comes in from ramp. They do come out from Palace. They're really relying on the pace here. Magus not ready for them to be so far forward. And Hooksy wow. with another big multi-kill. That is such a clean frag from him. Shutting the round down again. Vitality crushed immediately. No warning, no telegraph. No carrier Whoa. pigeon, no flashes. Just swinging in Whoa. dry. What was that wall bag, man? Flames has got to be mad about that one. And Hunter gets everyone out of that. A hold on this half. And now that has one. firmly disappeared. Indeed, seven to one. Can't imagine what the chat was saying. However, <laughs> that has long gone now for oh. Vitality. They've lost their economy and they're being broken repeatedly. And you know Nico's going to grow with power in a situation such as this. It's been hard work to get to this point. Now it's building time for G2. Target oh practice, God. and they're looking pretty sharp. Not bad from Nico. 
bad from Flames either, and Apex. Honestly, will take his 5-7 out though and return the favor with the upgraded pistol. So back to 7-6, back to a one round difference. The Bumblebee moved away, probably heard by Vitality. 40 seconds on the clock, Magistrat in oh. Palace, and now things start to speed up. 35 seconds, three on three. Monacy and Spinks very close together. Flamesy lost in the meantime. Spinks repositioning, but so much info. Still gets a kill though. And that bomb, that's the bomb. He has the bomb at his feet. 20 seconds, Spinks alone. Massive cranial pressure from Monacy to tie the score. Monacy was in such a hard spot there. He's alone on mid, his teammate's been dropped, the bomb's near him, and somehow he sneaks past the short player into ladder room. While that's happening, Nico takes control of A, and this was JKS catching the short player that just realized Monacy had snuck into ladder room. May need more in this round, in this early 4v5. Just rotate from Vitality. I mean, the bomb's not here, but these kills could come through. Oh Never my mind. God. What is that? What are you up to with that Deagle, sir? Great flick onto Flamesy as well. Spinks and Magisk remain. It's a 2v3, however. The bomb's making its way in towards B. Spinks has got some sound cues, and he's got Hunter as well. What does Hooksy do? Hasn't committed to the bomb site just yet. On the balcony, he doesn't care. He's read the ro rotation. He's going to put the smoke up and plant for his teammate. Manasi still on the A bomb site. He'll hear Magisk at least. These rounds are crazier and crazier. Spinks has got a 1v1. He knows he has to act quickly. Does he wait for the rotation, or does he prioritize the man on the site? That's Hooksy. Through the smoke he goes. He has a kit. He's got util as well. And he also has an M4 that is fully loaded. There's Hooksy. Deals with him quickly. Smoke is up towards short, but can he get to that bomb site? Spinks for a quick jump peek. Manasi's beyond this molly. Already jumping. Takes him out of the sky like a clay pigeon. 8-7 at half time. They've done the comeback and done even better than that. Game on for the second half. Big match vibes and potential for a rematch at Lanxess as well, depending on what happens. Five man on road for Vitality, straight down that mid position. Great one tap from Nico though, to start off proceedings. Hunter is here as well with support. Manasi can hold the angles while he gets the reload in. Wow, no way. The silence are off the USP. That tells you all you need to know about how confident G2 are feeling right now. Style points. That's mind games right Literally there. Literally makes the goal worse. I know. That's outrageous. It's rude. Nearly. Nearly catching Monacy out. But Monacy, hard to catch off guard. He's also just such a nerd with CS. I love it. And he's loving this right now oh, again. Oh. Monacy. Why you no silencer? Love you it. Sneaky, sneaky man. You get Hunter boosted up. If he jump peaks, this is going to be a slaughter. Oy. Oh, man. Just a battering ram. There's three CTs, B. There's a jump peak as well. The bait from Hooksy, but the molly might do the job. Hunter standing in the flames to make it completely oppressive. Apex gets his bell rung. He's finished off by Hooksy. Upgrades if he wants them. AK is there. 11 rounds for G2. Great setup. Great timing on the utility as well. Yeah, but Vitality have almost all their utility remaining. Quite a few Molotovs. The patient's paying off immediately. Green lights for everyone with that headshot. 30 oh, seconds no. to make their way into the bomb site. Nico will drop Spinks, but the bomb is still in tow through Connector. And JKS is going to be absolutely pivotal. 25 seconds forced away by the Molotov. JKS with two. Two on two, 20 seconds. Either angles to plant this bomb. Manasi moving through jungle. Hooksy is just above his cross set. Doesn't pull the trigger though. Big HG to Apex. Big damage as well. Manasi from connector. Hooksy running distraction. They have to wonder where Manasi is. There's the util. All the information for Vitality Apex and Zaiwu must deliver halfway there. Hooksy. Zaiwu doesn't go away. Continuing to be a pest. A swing from Apex now into the one versus one. He's got a kit. Zaiwu doesn't need to peek anymore. He's got to touch the bomb first. Zaiwu goes back and finishes off the job. Vitality not done with this one yet. That boost of Hunter may have a big part to play in this round. Magis creeping up towards top mid, making his way, and it's going to be a five on three on this B bomb site. 
Hunter dropping Sphinx now. And there's the bomb falling to the floor by default. It is a slaughter. Magisk one versus four. The door firmly shut by G2. What an answer in this round. Absolutely nothing doing for Vitality. Nico moves in. Another great shot from Magus, but it's having no influence on the outcome of the round. Not only did G2 have so many players stacked on the right side, on the T side. That's the first shot from Monacy. Goes back to hold it again. Zaiwu not best in this man today. Monacy wondering now, posi positioning himself for a little more cover from that ramp area. Dropping flames there. Spinks gone as well. 38 seconds on the clock. Nico will dispatch of many and leave Monacy with not much to do. The light is fading for Vitality as far as the semi final is concerned. Yeah, they've seen Nico's had gaps in that window. Early mollies from CT spawn. Apex now can open her on that B bomb site. Hunter getting into that oppressive position to trade the kill and hold position. Saibu, the only man in the app, dropped the bomb for a moment, but has instantly picked it up again to rotate out. Quick decisions being made from Vitality. Can't be afraid to try and make the right play. Flames in connector. Hooksy with the AWP now. Sphinx has some position, but Nico still needs to be dealt with, and so does JKS. Vitality have two remaining to stop match point for G2. As good as Zaiwu is, G2 are looking far too strong at the moment. Silently moving through. Nico's got the angle from Connector. JKS will finish off the job. 15 for G2. Back to their best right now, G2. Heading towards a triangle of G2 players with lethal lasers. Minus C. Oh. Oh, that is a hell of a flick onto Flames. The Molly to try and separate the push as well. JKS up and now down by Magic. Spinks dropped in the meantime. Three remain on the A bomb site for Vitality. No rotation just yet from G2. Maybe not needed as Hunter and Nico combine. Magic will drop and G2 semi final secure. They're going to Lanxess and starting late in the best way. A Monacy comes in in the final round, delivering what he was delivering the entire map long. That is a statement map from that man, Monacy. So many multi kills, you almost can't count them. Every single time he was tested, he seemed to deliver. And with Nico alongside him, that one-two punch is always hard to beat when they're at their best. They won 15 of the last 16 rounds there to beat Vitality. An incredible turnaround, an incredible run throughout that map. It's an absolute tear from G2 at the end.